conclusions written on it that you could jump to. <laughs> Listen, Zay, in the office, I need my space. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay, and today we are getting into the movie Office Space. This will be our reaction to it. Uh, this is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen. Uh, it's a comedy, 1999, it's rated R. Other than that, I don't really know anything about this movie before getting into it. Uh, Zay, is there anything you know about the movie before we get into it? Yeah, so I will say that um, I did find out that this movie was directed by Mike Judge. If you oh, don't know who Mike right. Judge is, he is the creator of Beavis and Butthead, one of my favorite funny, raunchy cartoons since I was a kid. And um, I believe, I, I don't know if he created king of the hill or like if he maybe i think he did create king of the hill so i think that's also so those are his two repertoires two very funny series um if you've ever seen them before i would definitely check them out they are a riot they are hilarious so yeah that's pretty much all i know and that this is based in an office and i've worked in an office so i'm sure that i'm gonna feel some of this comedy and some of this pain all right well i've seen the show the office and it's probably my favorite comedy tv show of all time so if it's anything like that, I'll probably find it funny, but who knows what it's going to be like. Uh, there's only one way to find out. That's to get into it. If you guys like what you're, what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch a full-length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Ugh, sorry, I was busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What, what is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Let's not keep you guys waiting. Let's get into office space. What is he from? He's familiar. Yeah, but what? I His face. Oh, gosh, I recognize him. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks. The poor Jay. <laughs> oh, dude, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to get into this other lane. I guarantee he's going to get stuck. It's going to stop moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What's about it? Yep. Oh, my gosh. The amount of times that has happened to me is It's every time, bro. Yep. And then his lane moves. Yes! Wow, why is that? I've never seen someone connect with me like that through a it's movie. It's so perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect, bro. It's poetry. <laughs> I forget the asshole that doesn't let you over in the lane, too, when it's moving. They're like, oh they stay God. just even enough with you. Oh, yeah. Man, they're trying to capture, like, <laughs> real life, like, by the T. Apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. I forgot. Mm. What is his name? All TPS Gary Cole. Now before they go out. That one's Gary Cole. Did you see? No, he's Gary Cole, boss. He's in Talladega Nights and oh. NCIS and another movie, a very famous movie. I can't think, though. Okay. Yeah, no, I, 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 I have the memo. I've got it. That's right. Hello, Bill. <laughs> it's the fucking worst. It's the uh, worst. I've never, I've never had a boss like that, but I've had coworkers like that. That thing. Oh yeah, that, I can feel that it. function like that. But I've never had a like a douchey boss. Thank God. Hi. Uh, could you turn that down just a little bit? But I, I was told that I could listen. I was just thinking maybe like a you know personal favor. Well, I, 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 I told Bill that if the stare is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. Video while I'm collating, uh -huh. so I don't see why okay. I should have to turn down the <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about your TPS reports. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Ugh, this guy, 
Don't it's, like them. That I forgot the one time, it's, and I've already taken care of it. It's painful. So if you could go ahead and try to remember to do that from now on, that'd be great. All right. <laughs> that. Oh. So oh, passive. You're not even allowed to do that. <laughs> you pat someone on the back. I have the memo. <laughs> not again. Why does it say paper jam when there is no paper jam? <laughs> Piece of shit out the window. <laughs> Thing is lucky I'm not armed. <laughs> what the fuck? Piece of shit. <laughs> Michael Bolton? That's me. So are you related to that singer guy? No, it's just a coincidence. Oh my god. Why don't you just uh, go by Mike instead of Michael? No way. Why should I change? He's the one who sucks. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> get out <laughs> of here. <laughs> so can I get you gentlemen something more to drink? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! And no way! It's all the people I completely have a distaste for in one film. <laughs> already just another asshole customer you can't just walk up to a waitress and ask her out is that jennifer aniston mm -hmm. Shit. i didn't, I didn't know, know she was, was in this. this i didn't know that i get thinking that she's cheating on me <laughs> yeah i know what you mean yeah what is that supposed to mean <laughs> yeah seriously what the fuck? <laughs> Look, why don't you just tell Anne that you're not into hypnosis what a weird thing to be like yeah i know what you mean <laughs> <laughs> what you mean by that i mean he did help Anne lose weight because she's anorexic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not... Oh, gosh. What's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Bro, that poor guy. It sucks, because that's what work conversations are. The most boring, stupid, you just talk about nothing. It's so dumb. We're all screwed, Playoffs? that's what. They're gonna downsize in a tech. I bet I'm the first one laid off. Just the thought of having <laughs> nope. to go to the state oh, oh, on office to stand nope. Come on, just focus. Oh, you made it. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it was a jump to conclusions, Matt. Conclusions written on it that you could jump to. <laughs> That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Oh my goodness! Don't say that! <laughs> That's mean! Oh no! Oh, I feel bad because he just wants to be part of the gang. PC load letter? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh man, he is something else. Two still going up? I don't know. Sometimes I get the feeling like she's cheating on me. Yeah, I get that feeling too, man. Everybody. Break up with her. Everyone else is feeling that. <laughs> she's the type of chick that just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that cut! That cut to his face like. Do you have any information for me? <laughs> like, like, give me any knowledge you have. He's like, mm -hmm. sorry. When a boss wants you to work on Saturday, he generally asks you at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Leave early. Duck out early. Turn off your answering machine. You should be home free, man. But then you get fired <laughs> for leaving early. Depends. Just a moment. Yep. Gosh, dude. It hurts hearing people that oh god. They're nailing a lot of things on the head though, from, from an office perspective, I'll tell you that much. It's Friday. Escape, escape, escape. Oh no. Duck. Get out of there. Oh. Bro, it, it'll oh, shut god. down itself. You already did the shutdown. It'll shut down after it saves it. Just leave. Oh, for crap. <laughs> Come on. Under. Go. 
He's behind you. Yeah, it's like a right horror now. movie. Oh, gosh. I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. Okay? What a prick. That's crazy. Is today the worst day of your life? Yeah. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry. Go on. Is there any way that could you, you could... imagine a licensed psychologist or therapist or whatever being like, yeah, damn, someone's spilling their guts bro. to me. I'm like, damn. They're like, so you gonna? <laughs> yeah, it's like, do you have advice? <laughs> Shit, brother. I don't even know. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I want you to relax every muscle in your body as you slip deeper and deeper into a state of complete relaxation. Oh, because it's hypnotherapy. Your concern about your job melts away. <laughs> Face, bro. <laughs> your worries, cares, and inhibitions will be gone. And you will remain Why in that state. Why does he look like Gandalf? And then you will find the stone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then... <laughs> it's just... He's just a scam artist. Like, Way down. Why are you sweating? sweating. Why are you nervous? <laughs> whoa, whoa. One. <gasps> Did he just die? I think he just hypnotized himself. No, I think he just went into cardiac arrest. That's what I think just happened. <laughs> He's like, I feel great. I think he just he sucked the life. His misery. He just sucked the life force out of that guy. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lum. Yeah, it's yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumber. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Why aren't you at work? I didn't feel like it. First, you just sit there while Dr. Swanson dies, then you just walk out of the car and embarrass me. In he did die. <laughs> just passed away. <laughs> oh. He just hung up on her. All right. So you just don't give a damn now. No. We're through. Oh, and one more thing. I've been cheating on you! I had a feeling. There it was. Yeah. Would you like to have lunch with me? I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? Okay. All right. He's, about, he's too cool riz. for everybody. <laughs> Take the specs from the customer? Well... <laughs> he looks so angry. What would you say you do here? I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. What the hell is wrong with you people? I... Very good with people, as you can yeah, see. It seems. I celebrate the guy's entire catalog. Anyway, let's get down to business, Michael. You know, you, you can just call me Mike. Oh, no, oh. not the people to start that with. Yo, they looked at him like, what does that mean? Would you like to sit down? Okay. <sighs> Bro, she, she's flustered. She don't know what to do. So, where do you uh, work, Peter? In a tech. And yeah, wh what do you do there? Do you? <laughs> anymore? I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Bro, bro's having a midlife crisis in the most successful way possible. I've never seen someone just break down like this so successfully. <laughs> so you gonna get another job? I don't think I'd like another job. <laughs> oh, he's he's lost it. <laughs> he's done. I've never really liked paying bills. I don't think I'm gonna do that either. <laughs> he said, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you ever watch Kung Fu? Oh, she loves I love Yep, Ooh. there it is. Channel 39. Totally. You can tell by the look in her eyes. She's locked. Okay. Can we order lunch first? Yeah. Okay. She wants it. She wants all she's the like, kung, kung fu. Kung fu. She, she's like, kung fu, we can practice kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? They were going to steal your stapler? <laughs> well, they made him change the stapler. Oh, they did? Yeah, but he kept the old one, he said. If you could go ahead and get it as far back against that wall as possible, that would be great. No. What do you mean? <laughs> like, just physically move the... Go ahead and get that from you. Yeah. Mm. Great. Uh, as soon as possible, that would be terrific. <laughs> he broke him. He's broke. 
the hell's going on, man? I thought you were gonna come in here and start shooting. No. What is up with this guy in violence? Dude, I don't... <laughs> yeah, I know. If you're just gonna come in here shooting, why? Did, did he ever show violent tendencies? Would you walk us through a typical day for you? I love the nonchalantness. In a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. Great honesty. Let me tell you something about TPS reports. Uh, I don't give a fuck about it. It's that I just don't care. Don't, don't care? It's a problem of motive. What are you, what are you not getting? He might be providing like the best feedback. Like they might know how to like. He's just pure honesty. Stuff, just yeah. like, yeah, this shit sucks. Stock option equity sharing program. Would that do anything for you? I don't know, I guess. Yeah, it definitely would. It's up to you whether or not you want to just do the bare minimum or uh my man well like brian for example what's what are those things called swag what is it the buttons called a tire okay so you you want me flare. to wear more flare <laughs> he's got like 30 buttons of flare some people choose to wear more and we encourage that okay you do want to express yourself don't you <laughs> yeah that's that little that little I could. I want to express boy. something to you. Let me tell you. <laughs> Milton Wadams. He was laid off five years ago, and no one ever told him about. It. And he still gets a paycheck. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. Mm, great. <laughs> we tell him about it. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> like, they're just gonna leave him working, and he's just not gonna get paid now. That's so fucked up. And they took his stapler, bro. Oh my god! This poor guy. Oh, that's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I can't wait for this. He's also been having some problems with his TPS reports. I'll have this. Oh, he, oh, they don't like the, this guy for Ooh. speaking against him. It's that you haven't challenged him enough to get him really motivated. There it is. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just not sure about that right now. Yeah, Phil, let me ask you a real quick question. <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. You spend each week dealing with these TPS reports. Oh, yeah. Bro, this is facts, though. Dude, it's fucking facts, though. There's always the people that don't deal with it that they they always have the critiques on it. My yeah. man's just coming in in sandals. He has his job now. <laughs> now he has a view. Nice. Now, yeah, that's like an executive style desk. Are you going to go ahead and have those TPS reports for us this afternoon? No. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll come back another time. I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. Shit. I, I didn't receive my paycheck this week. We're going to have to talk to payroll about that. Oh. <laughs> this is slave labor. That is it's so mean. It's so mean. Pack up your stuff and move it down there. But no, that would be terrific. I, I believe you have my stapler. It Oh, oh, this he just wants guy. money in his stapler. We're gonna be getting rid of these people here. Uh, first, Mr. Samir Naga. Oh, now it's his friends that might yeah, be losing. Yeah. Mike <laughs> Bolton. Somebody's gonna miss him. You're gonna lay off Samir and Michael. You gotta keep them. That virus you're always talking about, right? The one that could uh, rip off the company for a bunch of money. Yeah. The computer ends up with these fractions of a cent, which it usually rounds off. It takes those little remainders and puts it into account. That's insane. Inatech's so backed up with all the software we're updating for the year 2000, they'd never notice. You're right. That's nuts. That's like... millions of dollars. What's to stop you from doing this? It's not worth the risk. I got a good job. <laughs> Funny you say that. <laughs> Cock gobblers. Yep, there he is. Now this guy might actually shoot up. <laughs> He's yeah. Each withdrawal, it's a fraction of a cent. That's too small to notice. 
and it builds up. You space it out over a couple of years, that's a few hundred thousand dollars. Man has just turned into like a, a minor terrorist. <laughs> like, like a mar he's a Marvel villain. He's like, it just, I was an office worker. <laughs> the office title. doesn't exist now. <laughs> Don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> I need balance. <laughs> but I'm not going to do anything illegal. Illegal? Samir, this is America. <laughs> I'm gonna use that line anytime I ever get in trouble. <laughs> Officer speeding, this is America. Isn't it right? <laughs> You're right, brother. 95 through school zone. <laughs> Keep cooking. Oh, this is so great. It is great. Those we have those types of cubicles. Oh wow, really? In those desks. Well, like offices actually, like higher management offices, sometimes they share desks like that. My man has access to payroll. He should just pay himself like a million dollars. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I guess it was. What'd you do with the... Hey, man. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, what the... <laughs> Last week, right after he found out he was getting laid off, he goes home and tries to kill himself by running the car in the garage. So he tries to play it off like <laughs> nothing happened. I was having some trouble with the shifter here. See you later, honey. Love ya. That's not even funny. That sucks. Some help. Out of his driveway. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> oh no! That's fucking crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> what did you steal? Call it a going away present. Oh, I've seen this on Family this Guy. Family Guy, yeah, yeah, the Family Guy reference. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like seeing it as I'm watching this. I'm like picturing the Family Guy version too. Like, as I remember all of it, that's so funny. The Stewie. <laughs> he started doing this. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Bro, they thought about doing this and they said, let's do it. We only have so much run time, but let's yeah. do it. We're throwing it. Oh, what the f shit, Samir? That's not easy to do at all. That's like an actual breakdancing move. All right, so when the subroutine compounds the interest, right, it uses all these extra. Oh no. So you're stealing? Uh, no, no, you're not. Borrowing. You know, the Nazis had pieces of flair, but they made the Jews wear them. What? <laughs> My jeez. We don't have to talk about this now. Let's, <laughs> let's just go to the bar. I would have been like, no, go back. Run that back. <laughs> what about the Nazis and flair? Well, what do you think? It's a prototype. Huh. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I heard about your, your settlement. Congratulations. How would you even use that? What do you think? A twister? I don't know. <laughs> so get this. Joanna at the office. I just lay down the mat and just jump. <laughs> just like... If you hang in there long enough, good things can happen in this world. How will it, yeah, how will it backfire? Are you kidding me? She gets around. All right. <laughs> oh. Like a record. <laughs> What? Lumberg fucked her. <laughs> uh, let me see who else. What if, oh, what if he get caught? I, oh, I, I... He's gonna kill him. That's it. <laughs> oh! oh, God. Lumberg. Guys are so abrasive. They don't even give a shit. He's my unholy, disgusting pig of a boss! Oh, not that disgusting. They had to be talking about two different people. There's no way she's... How dare you judge me! You're just this penny-stealing, wannabe uh, criminal! I would be in the <laughs> nice back... One. I would be in the back seat, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd be hitting you like. <laughs> they look. Then, then you see them look up in the rear view, and you're like, huh. Huh. "Fucking!" <laughs> they look. They look back up in the rear view. They're like, <laughs> "You give me those TPS reports ASAP, okay?" <laughs> that la okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bro. Like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, just like that. Mm. Hey, Peter. Like, oh, mm. I would be, mm. Thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. I do want to express myself. Do it. Okay? Now, I don't out. need 37 pieces of flair to do it. Oh, shit. And this is me expressing myself. Damn. I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job. <laughs> the poor job dad at it. the table was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> Are you flipping me off? Oh, shit. Oh, corporate accounting is sure as hell going to notice 305,326. I think it's more that. I think it's it's not that it's in the accounts that it was too much. It should be fractions of a penny. Oh, it should never yeah, even be that yeah, much. It should be in yeah. micros like. I must have put a decimal point in the wrong place or something. Shit, I always do. Dude, I would be. I don't know what I would do. Going in to this. jail. We're going to jail. <laughs> Bro, I'd be. I my skin's like crawling. Like at the thought of like imagining. Oh God. Ugh. Birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday. They all seem thrilled to celebrate your birthday, Bill. Get him out. Happy He's not making <laughs> any money here. Terrific. Mm -hmm. See, I still haven't seen a paycheck. They could be bringing the company down because they're gonna have to reimburse this motherfucker for all of his work. He's and like, gonna be like, he's we like, have the money to do that. It's been three weeks since I've seen a paycheck. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a fee. He, uh, that, that, that. he hasn't even got paid. <laughs> Bro, if he's the only one that doesn't get a piece, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if he has to get a piece. I'm gonna cry. Oh no, that's a big one. They could have made no, this no, 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 no. Oh, you bitch. She oh, she's the biggest bitch. That. Wow. And she didn't pass either. Where is he maintenance wise? It would be really great if you could just sort of take care of the cockroach problem we've been having in here. No. <laughs> Crawl back. Bill, we need the upstairs right away. We got a big problem. Big problem. They're abusing this poor guy. I haven't seen a paycheck in. Yeah, so you just getting your hands and knees and fucking spray pesticide. The light. Excuse me. The disrespect is <laughs> a crazy. I used to be addicted to crack, but now I'm off and trying to stay clean. You used to be addicted to crack? Yeah. Um. Don't don't use this man for something. I know anything about any money laundering. We need just for you to hook us up. Michael, right if he people. doesn't know anybody, he wants to hook us up. They're taking. They're gonna get this man sent back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna... All the stuff I said about being a crackhead just helps me sell magazines. I'm an unemployed software engineer. Well, you're a software engineer. We can still use you. <laughs> yep, a hundred percent. Wait a minute, you're you're not gonna tell anybody about all this stuff we told you. I mean, we know a lot of the same. That all depends. <laughs> How much magazines you gonna buy? <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Neanderthal mafia guys can be so good at crime, and smart guys like us can suck so badly at it. We're new to it. Cause you're not shysty enough. Not your wheelhouse. They're yeah. Work smart and street you're smart. We're worried about going in a prison. Don't worry about it. I'll think of something. I could never bank on someone that was like that. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Oh, okay. Cool. Let me know when you got it. Yeah, let me know when you figure it out. I hereby sentence you, Michael Bolton, and Samir Nunn to a term of no less than four years in a federal pound be in the ass prison. 
Honestly, four years is not that bad for what y'all did. Right. You're a very bad person. That's it? I didn't get prison time. <laughs> Say less. I got worse. I got You're a, a bad, bad person. person. I bet you banged a gavel. You can't tell anything after. You banged it. That's it. <laughs> Pot. Yeah, what do you do? Oh, she works at Flingers now. Oh, okay. She left. She yeah. left the. Uh... Stop that. Might be going away for a while. Uh, to jail. I'm going to take the blame for it, I decided. Well, that's. Oh, wow. I may never be happy at my job. But I think that if I could be with you, that I could be happy with my life. Mm. Okay. If you could give it another shot, I promise okay, you, sure. Joanna. Aww. What's going on here? Get a room, you two. Me. <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> Like, fucking yeah. man, fucking little fucking troll. Well, he's at work going like, "Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hey everybody, you know." The minute he gets out, he's like, "Fuck the world!" Like, yeah. <laughs> don't do it. <sighs> Mr. Lumber, just go sit it, at your desk, but, okay? Okay, I, I, I'm gonna just. This poor like, man. What am I, I supposed get, to I'm do? I'm, I'm running in circles. <laughs> like, you guys are just running me in circles. He's going to get the letter? Is he going to get the letter? No. Oh my god, tell me he gets a letter and cashes the check. <laughs> this must be my check. That would be great! No, <laughs> you fucking keep going <laughs> That would be terrible. <laughs> Do I use my stapler? <laughs> Do you think, like, buddy, you don't get nothing. <laughs> you take care of yourself, so, if I don't see you, all right? You too, man. Take care of you, bud. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Okay, Lawrence. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Thanks, Lawrence, for really boosting my morale before I go. Why do I feel like Milton did this? <laughs> right? I just I decided I couldn't get my stapler back, so I need to please I'm fine. Yeah, he did it. He did something. Look at him running away. My gosh. <laughs> like we managed to Recover this letter we found. Yeah, we don't know what this is. Bill. This envelope. Someone put in a flame retardant envelope. I don't know <laughs> how they found such a thing. Oh, his stapler. Stapler, let's go. I think I know someone who might want this. I wish for a construction company. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if the money burned up. It would be a shame. So you sure you don't want us to get your job? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. Okay. All right, Chief. Oh, he found a new job. That's great. Yeah, he just wasn't built for the office space. Ow! White Sand Beach? Where are we at? I won't be leaving a tip. He definitely took the money and burnt that place down. And yep, said, he's got the envelope right there. I had to take my traveler's check to a competing resort. They had just paid the man. $300,000 instead. He paid himself. He said, fuck it. All right. That was our reaction to Office Space. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies as well, you get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You can check that out on patreon the link for that is in the description this was funny and cool i really enjoyed this experience watching this movie i can totally see why it's revered in a certain way because i have heard of this movie like before like people talk about it i didn't know what at all happened in it but 
it definitely has that like 90s movie feel to it. I know it was more in the late 90s, but it definitely had that kind of classic 90s feel to it. And what I really enjoyed about the movie is they hammered home so many relatable aspects to, and I know you'll talk about this more from a personal yeah. level, but um, but like to just the human experience. And I know you'll understand it more from the work experience, but for me, there's a lot of relatable aspects just from the human experience. Even though I've never had an office job, um, I've still, I've worked in a laboratory. I've been a server before. So I do understand um, what it's like to have coworkers and bosses and things like that. And um, I, I just found it to be extremely relatable starting from the very beginning with the whole traffic situation and, and, and moving forward and just the different dynamics of, peoples and personalities and relationships that can exist and everything um they managed to keep things on a really really normal basic level but still kind of have this outrageous plot ensue as well but it not feel totally crazy they kept it grounded you know with the characters being afraid of going to prison and all of this stuff so they had this really normal type of feel all the way throughout but they also had this story get a little outrageous and they integrated comedy all throughout while all still making it feel very 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 grounded and i was extremely impressed by the fact that they were able to manage all of those elements in a way that works because sometimes movies aren't able to do it in a way that works stories aren't able to do it in a way that works and sometimes they are in this movie i feel like they did it uh successfully so Overall, I had a really good time. It was really interesting to see the characters progress and to see the outcomes of the progression. And they even had romance uh, intertwined in it as well, which they didn't need to do. But I think in some stories, it detracts from the story. It's not necessary. In other stories, it adds to the story. And in, in my opinion, this added to the experience. It was nice to get that touch, that input um, as well. So overall, I really enjoyed the experience. I thought it was really well crafted. And uh, I could definitely see why why is revered. What what are your thoughts today? Yeah, I will say uh, coming from someone that's worked in an office, um, they, they nailed. There's always there every type of person in the office. They nailed the a person that's annoying as hell that you can always hear on a phone. The one weird dude that's kind of like you're like he's a little off. <laughs> Milton being that one, you know, you had Peter who just kind of was sick of his job. And you had like his coworkers and his friends and then the boss. I mean, now granted, I've never had a boss like that. That was kind of like that douchey, but I've had coworkers that were like that where they were trying to be like, yeah, so I'm gonna need you to do this for me because X, Y, Z reasons. Like, why can't you, what the fuck? Like, and you're not even involved in it. Um, I thought it was hilarious. I think that was absolutely freaking hilarious. Um, again, it just really did nail, um, if you've worked in an office, then you would, you understand it a little bit more. And I think you vibe with it a little bit more, but they still made the, co- the comedy and everything. Um, you're able to grasp it if you haven't, right. Cause clearly you were laughing, you were enjoying yourself. I mean, the very first piece with the traffic was that's, re- that's just relatable across the board. You get in one lane. Cause you're like, Oh, this one's moving. And then the other one lane moves and you're just like so just from the very beginning i think the comedy was very strong in it um they kept it super relatable there was like maybe you could say like there's a little bit of niche because it's like well if you never worked in an office maybe you've never ran to these types of individuals but you still it was still funny like i feel like you could still get these jokes still have a great time the story was pretty unique um i didn't think it was going to go that way i honestly didn't know where it was going to go obviously no he was in an office i was like okay where are they going to go from it? What's going to be the main storyline? Does this guy just hate his job and he just stays there until he leaves or whatever? I mean, it turns into like this huge money laundering <laughs> fiasco and everything. But yeah, I'm just really impressed how they kind of kept it down to earth. Like everything was relatable and like just human. And that's all it was. It was not like super over the top, like dram- dramatized. You know, you could say, I guess the money laundering piece maybe, but uh, the stresses of if that was going on. I mean, I said the same thing. I don't know what I would do in that situation. If I was going to do something like that, like, oh, well, this is foolproof safe. And then I have $300,000 in my bank account. i be like, oh, my God, I'm going to prison. For <laughs> life. Like, like, that's it. Like, I'm never seeing the light of day again. Um, yeah. So I just, again, I think it was just a very, very, very well done movie. Mike Judge, once again, you know, creator Beavis and Butthead. I love his comedy in that. I love his comedy in King of the Hill. So naturally love his comedy here. And yeah, it's just a great, great time. I'm. Happy again that I hadn't seen it because now we got to react to it. 
but I'm almost pissed that like I'm like, damn, I wish I'd seen this earlier. And there's been references that I've seen, one being the printer scene. We've seen that in Family Guy referenced. I forget what they do or what they're beating up, but Family Guy referenced that. Um, that whole scene with them beating the printer out in the field. So just overall, a great, great experience. Just well done comedy film. Just it did it came to it did what it came to do. Make you laugh, be relatable, and just be an enjoyable experience. All right, just so you guys know, we go from zero to 10 and we never give out zeros and we never give out 10s. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, we're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. That's impossible to say. By giving out a 10, we're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. That's also impossible to say. We do give out decimal points like 9.9999 and so on if we so please. Five is average, six is good, seven is great, eight is beyond that, nine is top tier cinema. I'm going to smack this bad boy at an 8.25. I thought this was beyond great. I thought it was really funny. The comedy was awesome. Like you said, it's niche, but you can still understand it if you haven't had that experience. It's almost like exploring a new type of jungle, but still finding familiarization in the trees and the leaves and things like that, and finding new things that you've never knew about before and, and finding the hilariousness in it as well. I also want to say that, it, um, like you mentioned, the printer scene, and and the way they used music was really fun by like adding this like badassery mm -hmm. to the environment and just they didn't need to do that printer scene but they were like let's have fun with it let's fucking right. do the printer scene so they were able to have fun throughout the movie as well and add this this funny like cool montage and and do some risky things and take some different directions that not all movies do and i thought that that was really really cool and i think it paid off for me Overall, this was a success in my book. I absolutely, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm smacking that at an 8.25. What about you? Yeah, I'll put it right at, I think, you know, I'll cut, I'll split the difference of an 8.6. I'm not eight, between 8.5, 8.75 for me. I think my appreciation for it comes from the fact that I've been in this situation. I've worked in this situation. So I've experienced these types of things. The freaking like mid quarter interviews with people being like, so what do you do in your day to day? Or how does this like, you know, and having to go through that and kind of being like, Oh, like, yeah, you know, I, I do this and that every time I come in and like per trying to make yourself seem like a perfect employee wanting to be brutally honest. You want to be Peter. You want to be the dude that's like, dude, honestly, I don't give a shit. Here's what goes on in my day to day. I'm not motivated. X, Y, Z. It's just not the reality of it. But um, yeah, I just, I, I think I have a special appreciation for it because I've been in it. Um, and again, the comedy was just great. I agree with you with the music. I think the music was hilarious. How they, you have this, this nerdy dude who's listening to gangster rap and talking about like, yo, that I wish if that printer, if I was armed, that printer would be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so funny. It's just funny. They, they hit a very, very great topic, some niche topics, but overall enjoyable topics of comedy. And um, yeah, so that's that's what I'll give it. All right, nice. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, guys, my Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Feel free to stop by, say hi. If you're looking for some content with Cam and I and my other friend Drew, typically it'll be towards the weekend, like Fridays. Saturdays, I'm going to try to reserve for more like scary games, which might have Cam and Drew, depending on if they are multiplayer. And then throughout the week, I also will stream some playthroughs and just, you know, casual games like Call of Duty and stuff. So feel free to stop by, say hi, and see a lot of you guys come through and say what's up. And uh, it's always a great time getting to interact with you live instead of through, you know, YouTube comments or, you know, past videos, Patreon, etc. So it's always a good time, guys. Yeah, check it out. It's really fun. With that being said, if you're mad at your job, don't launder money from it. Uh, don't steal. <laughs> Find a different way to handle the situation. We'll see you guys on the next one. And peace.